What's up YouTube? This is Lizzy Torn here and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPhone to iOS 4.0 from iOS 4.1. You can also downgrade to iOS 4.0.1. Now this also works with an iPod Touch, uh, which I will be demonstrating to you with an iPod Touch because my iPhone is charging downstairs. Um, and I just restored that so don't want to keep restoring all my iOS devices. It's kind of a pain to keep doing that, you know. So uh, I'm just going to use my iPod Touch for now. Works the same way. All the same stuff. So first thing you're going to need is your Windows-based computer. In this case, I'm using my old Dell because my MacBook Pro, which has a boot camp partition on it, uh, has suffered um, somehow the Windows has started to failure to boot. So I have to redo the entire partition and I'm still getting all the drivers and everything worked out okay. It's 64 bit so I have to use command prompt to get those drivers. And so anyway, we're going to just do this now. It's similar to the way we did it on Mac OS X. And I'm sorry for the not as professional video. I'm just putting my camera basically in front of my computer because I don't have a screen capturing software for Windows. Nor do I know how to edit with Windows. So we're just going to get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is plug your iPhone into your computer or iPod Touch. Okay, there we go. Next, you're going to want to slide to power off. So press and hold the sleep wake. Just slide to power off. Doesn't matter if there's a sync there or not. I'm right, just going to cancel that indicating because this cannot be found that's because I disconnected it <laughs> right that, that's great that's not going away <sighs> why well, I hate windows so if I just get this away whatever so what you're going to do is you're going to put the iPhone in DFU mode there we go here's what we're going to do press and hold the sleep wake for three seconds then keep holding the sleep wake and press the home button for 10 seconds, let go of the sleep, sleep wake, and continue to hold the home button for another around 14 seconds. So let's do that now. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right, there we go. Took a little longer, but that's okay. We're in DFU mode. And now we have iTunes here. It's just showing, yeah, I put Pathbook G4 in there. I got bored. Um, uh, iPod there, blah, 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 no serial number, nothing like that. Ready to restore. Now, in order to do this, you must have had jailbroken to iOS in iOS 4 in the past using jailbreak me, red snow, whatever to get your essays, essays blobs. What we're going to do is bypass the way Apple checks its software and just access those essays, essays blobs. So uh, we're just going to minimize iTunes for now and we're going to go into Windows Explorer. So you could do this by clicking the start menu up here and then clicking computer or wherever your taskbar is and you're going to click on your C drive right there zoom in for you guys there's your C drive click on that next click on the thing that says Windows and scroll down a little bit Come on. there it is to a file called system 32 double click on that next you will see a folder called drivers double click on that then at the top, you'll see a folder called ETC. Click on that. Now, and here we have a few files, not many. There's two files that you may get mixed up with. is host and host.ics. We don't want to touch host.ics. We only want to touch host. So simply write, so simply just open that, and it'll come up with this dialog box. You're going to open that with Notepad. Now at the bottom here we've got all this gibberish and whatnot. So you're simply going to hit enter after the last thing on that list. And you're going to copy and paste 
what I have put in the video description for you guys. It's 74.208.105.171 gs.apple.com. Stuff, you're just going to copy and paste that. Now, in XB, you could just press save. You're good to go. You could just press file save. However, in 7 in Vista, you're going to have to do something special. Con press control A. Whoops. Control A. Then control C. Close out of this and don't save it. Navigate to the start menu once again up there and go to all programs and locate notepad. So my guess is it would be in the accessories and there it is. Now when you see it there don't open it. Instead right click on it and click run as administrator. If Windows prompts you click yes. Now you're going to copy and paste all that junk in there. Next, you're going to go to File, Save As, and you're going to go back to Local Disk here in the sidebar, Windows, there it is, System 32. drivers etc then click there now on the bottom here you're going to change that to te from text document to all files first you gotta name it that's what I was doing wrong Let's name it hosts okay it says hosts already exist you want to replace it hit yes now you can close out of that pretty much that's what you gotta do now when you open iTunes or maximize it I'm gonna make it big for you guys Windows users, you're going to shift click restore. Okay, so you're going to press that little shift key down there and then hit restore. So shift restore. Did not hit the shift key. Shift restore. There it is. Um, so you're going to locate your IPSW, links in the video description, and you're just going to simply click it and then click open, and there you go, restoring everything is all well. If you get an error message saying error 1015, there's cool software that I found that's called Recboot. Recboot pretty much takes your iPhone out of that state that t error 1015 puts your iPhone in. So pretty cool. So just download that, link to that in the video description along with the external software that it may need because it's Windows and then you're good to go. So hope you enjoyed this video. I did, I got a request to do this. So remember to favorite, comment, rate, subscribe, and see you guys later.